Oh, hi there. Thanks for showing up for your learning. I remain your humble master of a Mr. Jennings, and I am going to review the skill of finding the equation of a parabola that goes through three given points when two of them are roots. Okay. This, uh, this is a pretty cool skill that we get in. Hold on one moment. This is a pretty cool skill that we get in grade 11. And I'm going to walk you through it because some of these skills, it really helps to have someone show you. Okay, this first one, we're going to find a quadratic that has zeros at 3, 0, and 11, 0, and passes through the point 2, 3. Okay, some of you are really struggling with this stuff. First, hold on a moment. So first, we want to visualize this. So let's go ahead and visualize it. So I'm going to boop, boop, visualize the point 3, 0, and 11, 0, and then this point 2, 3. Okay, that's up there, the point 2, 3. So I predict that this parabola will do something like this. I think it's going to open upwards. I think it's going to have a C value that's positive and a B value that's negative. All right. So that's, those are my predictions. A is positive, B is negative, C is positive. Okay, let's go. So the way you set these up is you say, well, this is going to be some function f of x. And it's equal to, oh, I'm going to use the factored form of a quadratic. So there's some stretch factor. And then there's x minus the first root. So I take that number and I flip it sign. And then x minus the second root. So I'm going to take that number and flip its sign. Okay, that's great. That's the equation of all the quadratics that have these two roots, all of them. But only one of them goes through this point. And the way we find that specific one is you go ahead and plug that in for x, y. Okay, here's the x, here's the y. So the y value is equal to 3 when this is um, a nicer way to do this would be to say the f of x value, the f at 2 value is equal to 3, which is a times 2 minus 3. I'm subbing in for x to 2 minus 11. Okay, so 3 is equal to a multiplied by negative 1 times negative 9. All right, so 1 over 3 happens to be A. Well, wait, I just I just felt myself losing a bunch of you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm just so eager to, to get there because I love doing these questions so much. I noticed that this is saying 3 is equal to 9A, okay, because I multiplied those two and then I put them in front of the A. Then I divide by A both sides. So I get this uh, 1 over 3 is equal to A. Where did 1 over 3 come from, Mr. Jennings? Where did that little boy come from? Uh, well, he's uh, they're homesick from camp. Apparently, they're sick today. Yeah, this one is actually has a scratchy throat. So anyway, 3 over 9 is clearly the same thing as 1 over 3. And this is not the video for me to explain that to you. So you just have to accept it if you don't understand it or Google equivalent fractions, all right? Okay, so that is the equation of this parabola. It's equal to this. f of x is equal to 1 third multiplied by x minus 3 times x minus 11. Okay, next thing. What do you think we're going to do next? Check our answers in Desmos. Might as well check your answers in Desmos. My goodness. My goodness. Okay, f of x could be written as 1 over 3 bracket x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 11. Look at that. There's a 0 at 3, 0. There's a 0 at 11, 0. Here's the point 2, 3. Okay, so it checks out. It works. So you can, you can check these in Desmos, people, and see if it works. All right. Remember when I said, uh, please don't lie all over me. It's very distracting. Uh, remember when I said you could have just the A value here? 
okay? And then I'll put a slider in there, A, and that will give you all of the quadratics with those two roots. See, see them all? See how when A changes, the this, this stretch factor changes? Yeah, it's cool, eh? So I can, and my son wants me to play that so he can watch it change gradually. Whoop, there it goes. Oh, that's a vertical stretch and reflection through the x-axis. Isn't it amazing how this all just like comes together? All right, let's keep going with another example, everyone. Let's say, okay, I'm going to turn that off. We're going to stop looking at it. Pause, stop, go away, stop. So that one checks out. We're done. Let's say I don't see this, but I do see this. Okay. And I tell you that this has this vertex and these roots. There's an example like this on the quiz. I'm going to do an example just like the one on the quiz. My goodness. So let's um, take down our points. It works the same way. You just take down, but you don't even have to visualize it. It's already visualized for you. We showed you that we showed you the graph. So let's go. We've got roots at zero, zero, a root at three, zero, and a root at one half, 1.35. Oh my goodness. How are we going to do that? Well, let's put it one and a half, 1.35. Okay. So I copied down my points. 1.5, 1.35, my goodness. And then the other ones were 0, 0, and 3, 0. All right, so we set it up the same way. We'll call this one g of x, because why not? g of x is equal to a, I don't know a yet, multiplied by x minus 0. Notice I wrote x minus 0 multiplied by x minus 3. And now we plug this information in to solve for a. Let's go. I bet it's going to be negative 3 fifths, unless there's some rounding error in there. There might be. Desmos might have rounding error. So we have 1.35 is equal to a multiplied by 1.5 multiplied by 1.5 minus 3. OK. So that's 1.35 is equal to 2.25, but it's a negative. If you don't believe me, check your calculator. That is indeed what, sorry, that's negative 1.5 times 1.5 gives negative 2.25. Multiply by A, okay? Now we divide both sides by 2.25. All right, and we're going to have to figure that out, what that is. Well, let's do 1.25 divided by 2.25 on a calculator, shall we? See what it comes up with. Sorry, 1.35 divided by 2.25 is equal to, oh, it's exactly three-fifths. But because we're dividing by a negative there, this is negative, and that's a, okay? So we have this function, g of x is equal to negative 3 fifths multiplied by x times x minus 3. Or in other words, we could write this in vertex form as well. I'll write it in standard form, this is fine. Just give it in this form, it's fine. I don't care. Watch, but it's the same. Um, g of x is equal to negative 3 over 5, uh, x times x minus 3. Oh, look, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I, I see the common factor there. The common factor is 45. The common factor in, in these numbers is 0.45. Okay, so that's how it reduces. This is 0.45 times 3, and this is 0.45 times 5. And you would know that if you lifted weights. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's say we have uh, zeros at these two points. So let's look at that. Oh, look, they're there. Boop. There's that one. There's that one. Okay, these two points. There's a trick with these. Um, but I don't want to use the trick. I want to do it in the same method because I like knowing one method that I can use for lots of different points. And we need one more point here. Pick a point, any point that this can go through. Okay, let's say the point, let's work with a point in the negatives, all right? Negative five, 
comma, negative 15. I, I honestly don't care. It's going to be as easy anyway. So that's way down there, you see? So I'm predicting that there's going to be a parabola, and it's going to go like this. Okay, so it's going to have a negative A value, a negative C value, and a positive B value based on this visualization here. It's going to be something like that, All right? So let's figure it out. We work in exactly the same way. We can. All right. This is a h of x, totally arbitrary, is equal to a multiplied by x minus 3 plus root 5 multiplied by x minus 3 minus root 5. Notice I substituted the roots into brackets so that I avoid making sign errors. I'm very careful with my algebra because I make a lot of errors if I'm not careful. And you do too. <laughs> I've noticed. So knock it off and be more careful. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not actually angry that you make so many errors. I'm just tired. All right. So let's go. Okay. So this is... Um, a multiplied by x minus 3 minus root 5 times x minus 3 plus root 5. Okay? And so now, we might as well sub in that other point to solve for A. So uh, this is still h of x, but we chose the point negative 5, negative 15. So negative 15 is equal to A times negative 5 minus 3 minus root 5. Oops, yeah, I almost made an error there. And then negative 5 minus 3 plus root 5. Okay, so this is negative 15 is equal to a times negative 8 minus root 5 times negative 8 plus root 5. Let's do our foiling first. So we're going to have negative 8 times negative 8. So this is still minus 15. That just hangs out and comes down. A just hangs out and comes down. We're going to evaluate this bit. This is positive 64 because negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64 plus negative 8 root 5. So, sorry, minus negative 8 root 5 plus negative 8 root 5. So those cancel. And then minus root 5 times plus root 5 is minus all right so this is going to be negative 15 is equal to 59a well i didn't make it nice for us but whatever okay divide by 59 some people would tell you put this into standard form and i would say who cares just leave it in factored form it's okay it's fine i'll take it for marks Cancels, cancels. That's my a value. So h of x is equal to negative 15 over 59 x minus um, 3 minus root 5 x minus 3 plus root 5. Let's write that into, let's, how about we check our answers? In Desmos here, let's see if it matches the parabola I drew. I know the parabola I drew is not very accurate, but at least it goes through those points. Let's see what it looks like. H of x is equal to a 15, negative 15, I think I said, over 59. Yeah, negative 15 over 59, bracket x minus bracket 3 plus square root 5 and bracket, oops, and the bracket there, please, and the bracket again, multiplied by x minus bracket 3 plus square root 5. And the bracket there, and the bracket there. Where is my problem? <laughs> Oh, I did 3 plus 3 plus. Uh, ha, ha, ha. 3 minus. Hey, hey, hey. 
So that's how you do this skill, everyone. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. So if you hung out for this long, send me the code word ostrich hammer. All right, all is one word. If you just email me the code word ostrich hammer, I'll know that you watched the video all the way to this point. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. Thanks for showing up for your learning.